Hey guys, it's Bub here, and in this video, we're going to be seeing what is the least amount of RAM that we can get Apple's latest operating system, macOS 12 Monterey, to boot off of. Previously, I've done this series with only Windows operating systems. In fact, I've done it with anything Windows XP or newer. However, this is the first time we're stepping outside of the Windows circle, and we're trying it on macOS 12 Monterey. I have no clue what the lowest amount of RAM is going to be, so that's why we're running this experiment. I really don't know how intensive macOS Monterey is, since I haven't used macOS in over a year. So let's get started. So by default, I keep this virtual machine's memory on 16 gigabytes of RAM, but just for now we're going to cut it down to 8. Now I know that Apple has 8 gigabyte machines like the MacBook Air, but I just want to see how the performance is and we can kind of get a judgment off of that. Now in this VM, I do have VMware tools enabled, and it is on the latest version of Monterey, which I believe is 12.0.1. Alright, and here we are inside of macOS, so I'm just going to go ahead and enter the password to this VM, and it should work fine, because like I said, Apple does sell the M1 MacBook Air with 8GB of RAM, so I am not really too worried yet. 8GB of DRAM, apparently. So... One thing I would like to mention while we have the VM booted up is that this VM has no graphic acceleration, which could affect what kind of numbers we get. It might get us a little bit lower because the graphics is not using so much RAM. However, overall, I don't think it will impact us too much. Because of VMware tools, everything just seems to run pretty smooth anyway. So we're just going to ignore that and shut down, and let's try 4 gigabytes. Okay, so I just googled the minimum RAM for macOS 12 Monterey, and the minimum is 4 gigabytes, so we are going straight down to 4 gigabytes. This is the minimum for macOS Monterey, so let's see what happens. And unsurprisingly, the VM did turn on, and it appears to work fine. Um, the startup, every time I've noticed, has gotten slower and slower. Like, it took, I think, when it had 16 gigabytes, it booted up relatively fast, then 8 booted slower, and now 4 is booting even slower. Um, but just to see, because it is the minimum, it does seem to work perfectly fine. I mean, obviously, I don't know if Safari is going to work real well. Let's try and load Google. Okay, that's not too bad, I guess. It is running decent. So let's shut her down, and let's try 2 gigabytes. I honestly have no clue if we're going to get in the megabytes, because I think we honestly might kernel panic. I don't know if Apple has really designed their operating system to run in the megabytes of RAM. So let's find out what happens here with 2 gigabytes. Alright, so running on 2 gigabytes of RAM, I mean, it seems like typing seems responsive. There is no lagging on the loading circle. There was some lagging opening that, but it immediately opens Safari. Um... Yeah, let's take a look here at about this Mac. 2 gigabytes of DRAM here on Mac OS 12 Monterey. I'm um, just opening Safari here. Let's just try... Let's load YouTube. YouTube isn't the most intensive application, but it's a little bit intensive in my opinion. So, it appears to be working. Okay, let's shut this down and go ahead and try 1 gigabyte. We might face some problems, I don't really know. One gigabyte is not a lot of RAM, especially on macOS. However, I have noticed doing Hackintoshes over the last year that macOS is really well optimized for low amounts of RAM. With four gigabytes of RAM on a Hackintosh, it ran almost as good as my 16 gigabyte of RAM MacBook Pro. So that's just something I've observed. All right, so one gigabyte of RAM, it has booted up and we are logging in right now. Let's just try and open Launchpad. That launched pretty okay. Um, let's just open Finder. Oh, that took a while to load, but um, it's still loading actually. It says that right there. Okay, this is a little bit concerning, um, but it did still boot, so we are counting this as a victory. Let's go down to somewhere around 768 megabytes and try that. All right, and on 768 megabytes of RAM, it appears that we have booted into the desktop. And while things are taking a long time to load in, like this right side of the top bar has not loaded, and I can barely hover over dock icons, it is still loading, um, and it is still booting to the desktop, so I'm going to count this as a success. All right, so now, where should we go now? Let's go... 
let's go in the 600s. Let's go to 636. That's just a random number I picked, but it seems good. And I'm actually kind of surprised that it booted not just with this low amount of RAM, but with this awkward amount of RAM, 636 megabytes. But yeah, we are definitely seeing the consequences of our actions here. It is being ridiculously slow. This top bar hasn't even loaded yet. There it is. Yeah, this is getting very, very unusable. And let's just go to 512. I can't really take this, but we'll try it. With half a gigabyte of RAM, we have actually booted. Um, I'm not sure if it's going to let us log in because it's just being so slow, but we can try it. All right, so we have, we've sat here for about a minute right now. The bar has not loaded in, but we did boot. I'm counting this as a win. Actually, can we hover over things? We can't. All right, so it appears that it's kind of frozen, which makes me think we're getting to our minimum, but let's keep going. Let's just go to like 356 and try that. All right, so on 356 megabytes of RAM, we keep getting a not found error. It says something about VMware EFI CD-ROM, and it is not working. Yeah, not found. It's not booting at all. It just absolutely refused to boot. So our minimum lies between 512 and 356. So let's bump it up into the 400s, 404, and try that. And it appears like we are not even booting. Oh, there we are. It decided to boot. That, that took a while. Wow. So it did boot on 404 megabytes. It did take a good two minutes just to turn on, but I hit enter and it is not loading. It is not loading anything. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, I'm not even gonna wait for this to get to the desktop. I'm just gonna call this a success. So our minimum lies between 356 and 404. So let's go down 376 and try that. And it appears like we are getting this issue once again. So we lie between, I believe that we were at 376 and 404. So let's try 392. And we did not successfully boot Mac OS. So it looks like we have to be in the 400s or somewhere between here. So I'm just gonna try dead on at 400 and we'll see what happens. Okay, so that did not work. So it looks like we've determined that the absolute minimum that macOS 12 will run on is 404 megabytes. I'm actually really surprised. I did not expect it to get this low. I expected it to stop around one gigabyte, but it did actually let us get down to 404. And so with that being said, definitely let me know if you've gotten a lower RAM amount, but I honestly think this is kind of impressive for macOS. So with that being said, make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you're new around here as I do all kinds of different technology videos, including device restorations. With that being said, I'll see you all in the next one.